Have you ever thought about time travel? Could it be possible or is it just a figment of our collective sci-fi influenced imagination? We've all seen it in movies and read about it in books. Time travel is a concept that has fascinated humanity for centuries. From H.G. Wells' The Time Machine to the Back to the Future franchise, the idea of hopping around in time has captivated our collective imagination. But is it just a product of creative minds, or could there be a kernel of scientific truth to these fantastical tales? When we speak of time travel, we're talking about the ability to move between different points in time, just as we can move between different points in space. But unlike space, time isn't something we can just walk through at our leisure. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time and space are intertwined in what's known as the space-time fabric. This fabric is warped by mass and energy, creating what we perceive as gravity. This suggests that theoretically, if one could manipulate this space-time fabric, time travel might be possible. Indeed, some scientific theories suggest that time travel may, under certain conditions, be plausible. Black holes, wormholes, and the theory of relativity all hint at the potential for time dilation, which could be seen as a form of time travel. Now let's delve a bit deeper into the realm of quantum physics. In this strange world, particles can exist in multiple places at once, and they can even affect each other instantaneously over vast distances. This phenomenon, known as quantum entanglement, is one of the cornerstones of quantum mechanics, and it's here, in the realm of the quantum, that we find a concept that might just open up the possibility for real-time travel, quantum teleportation. So, if time travel were possible, how might it work? Quantum teleportation might have the answer. To understand quantum teleportation first, we need to dive into the strange and fascinating world of quantum physics. Step into a world where the rules of reality as we know them take a back seat. Welcome to quantum physics, an arena where the weird and wonderful reign supreme. Quantum physics is the study of the tiniest particles in the universe, the fundamental building blocks of everything around us. These particles, like electrons and photons, exist in what we call quantum states. But what are quantum states? Imagine a coin spinning in the air. While it's spinning, it's neither heads nor tails. It's both and neither at the same time. This is similar to a particle in a quantum state. It can be in multiple states at once until it's observed or measured. This concept is known as superposition. Now let's take our spinning coin analogy a bit further. Suppose you had a magical coin that no matter how far it was thrown, always landed in the same position as a coin left behind. This magical link is akin to quantum entanglement, another fundamental concept of quantum physics. In the quantum world, particles can become entangled, meaning the state of one particle is directly connected to the state of another, no matter the distance between them. Perhaps the most mind-boggling aspect of quantum physics is the idea of wave-particle duality. This concept suggests that quantum particles can behave both as particles and as waves. Imagine if our spinning coin could also ripple out like a wave in a pond. This dual nature adds another layer of complexity to the quantum world. Now, you might be asking, what does all this have to do with teleportation? Well, it's these very principles of superposition, entanglement, and wave-particle duality that set the stage for quantum teleportation. In the quantum realm, things behave differently, and this behavior opens up new possibilities like quantum teleportation. So buckle up as we're about to delve into one of the most exciting applications of quantum physics. Now imagine having a twin who feels your pain or joy no matter how far apart you are. That's quantum entanglement in a nutshell. Picture this. You and your twin are separated by vast distances. Perhaps one of you is on Earth and the other on Mars. Yet, when you stub your toe on a rock, your twin on Mars winces in pain. Sounds like science fiction, right? But this is a somewhat simplified analogy for a very real quantum phenomenon known as entanglement. Quantum entanglement is a curious event where two or more particles become interconnected. Once entangled, the state of one particle is immediately connected to the state of the other, no matter the distance between them. Change the state of one particle and the other changes too instantaneously. It's as if the universe has set up a direct hotline between these particles, bypassing the constraints of space and time. Now let's take this a step further to quantum teleportation. Here's another analogy for you. Imagine you're sending a text message to your friend, but instead of the message itself traveling to your friend's phone, 
The information in the message is instantly imprinted on a blank message screen on your friend's phone. This is quantum teleportation, the transmission of quantum information from one location to another without the physical travel of the information itself. The teleportation part comes from the fact that the state of the particle isn't merely copied from one place to another, but it is effectively transferred. The original state at the sending location is destroyed in the process and recreated at the receiving location, and so quantum teleportation relies heavily on quantum entanglement. Without this peculiar phenomenon, the teleportation of quantum information would be impossible. But remember, we're not talking about teleporting people or objects here, but the information that describes their quantum states. It's a crucial distinction that keeps us firmly rooted in the realm of theoretical physics and not science fiction. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it, forms the basis of quantum teleportation. You might be wondering, how does quantum teleportation actually work? Well, let's break it down and don't worry, we'll keep it simple. Imagine you're sending an email. First, you compose your message, then you hit send, and voila, your message is now in your friend's inbox halfway across the world instantaneously. But your original message isn't physically transported from your computer to your friends, rather a copy of it is made, and that's what's sent. Quantum teleportation works in a similar fashion. The process begins with something called quantum entanglement. This is a peculiar phenomenon where two particles become intimately linked so much so that the state of one directly influences the state of the other no matter how far apart they are. So let's say we have two entangled particles A and B. Particle A is with us and particle B is with our friend on the other side of the universe. Now we want to teleport particle A's information to particle B. To do this we introduce a third particle C which carries the information we want to teleport. The next step is a bit tricky we perform a special kind of measurement on particles A and C together. This doesn't just tell us about their states, but also changes them. Now here's where the magic happens. Because A and B are entangled, this change also affects particle B, even though it's far away. Then we send the result of our measurement to our friend. They use this information to manipulate particle B. And just like that, particle B now has the same quantum state as the original particle C. It's as if particle C has been teleported. It's important to note that we're not physically moving particles here. Instead, we're transferring the information about a particle state from one place to another. So in quantum teleportation, we're not moving matter, but information, and this has some fascinating implications. If we can teleport information, what does this mean for our future? Picture this, a world where your computer can process information in the blink of an eye, or where you can send a message halfway around the globe almost instantaneously. That's the kind of future quantum teleportation could bring us. Let's start with quantum computing. Today's computers use bits to process information, but a quantum computer would use quantum bits or qubits. These qubits can be in multiple states at once, thanks to a property called superposition. This means they can process vast amounts of information simultaneously, making them far more powerful than any computer we have today. Quantum teleportation could play a crucial role in this field as it could allow us to move qubits from one place to another without any loss of information. Now let's talk about communication. Quantum teleportation could make it possible to send information instantly, no matter the distance. This is because the information isn't actually traveling through space. Instead, it's being teleported from one particle to another, thanks to a phenomenon known as quantum entanglement. This could revolutionize our communication networks, making them faster and more secure than ever before. And what about time travel? Well, that's still firmly in the realm of science fiction. But some scientists believe that quantum teleportation could eventually give us a better understanding of how time works on a quantum level. This could lead to all sorts of fascinating discoveries, and who knows? Maybe one day, it could even bring us a step closer to the dream of time travel. Quantum teleportation might not mean teleporting people or objects, but it could revolutionize how we store and transmit information. This is a brave new world we're stepping into, my friends. And as we continue to explore the quantum universe, who knows what other wonders we might discover. Quantum teleportation sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's happening in labs around the world right now. A world where information is teleported from one place to another instantaneously without traversing the space in between. Sounds fantastical, doesn't it? But it's not just a figment of imagination, it's the reality of quantum teleportation. 
Let's talk about the cutting edge experiments being conducted right now. In 2020, Chinese physicists made headlines when they teleported particles between a ground station and a satellite orbiting more than 300 miles above the Earth. They used a process known as entanglement, where two particles are linked in such a way that the state of one instantly affects the other no matter the distance. This experiment marked a significant milestone in the advancement of quantum teleportation. But how about teleporting something more substantial than particles, say a human being? Well, here's the catch. Currently, we can only teleport information about a quantum state. Teleporting larger objects, especially living beings, is far beyond our reach. It's like faxing a car. You wouldn't actually send the car, rather you'd send the information needed to build an identical car at the other end. So what does this mean for the future? As we continue to understand and refine this technology, the possibilities are endless. From creating ultra-fast quantum internet to developing secure communication networks, to advancing quantum computing, the implications are profound. The reality of quantum teleportation challenges our understanding of the natural world. It's a testament to the fact that the quantum realm is not just a theoretical concept, but a real tangible part of our universe that we're only beginning to explore. As we peel back the layers of the quantum world, we're finding that the future might be closer and stranger than we think. Quantum teleportation could be the first step towards real-time travel. But what might that look like? Imagine a world where we can instantly transport ourselves to any point in time. The past would no longer be a distant memory, but a place we could visit, relive, and even alter. The future, on the other hand, would cease to be a mystery. We could leap forward in time, see the outcomes of our decisions, and return with the knowledge to make better choices. But this is where things get tricky. If we can change our past, wouldn't that alter our present? And if we can see our future, wouldn't that eliminate the concept of free will? These paradoxes are some of the most pressing challenges that scientists and philosophers face when contemplating the future of time travel. Another hurdle lies in the realm of technology. Quantum teleportation is still in its infancy. While scientists have successfully teleported information between particles over small distances, Teleporting larger objects or living beings is a whole other ball game. The sheer amount of information that would need to be accurately measured and replicated is mind-boggling. There are also ethical considerations to ponder. Who gets to time travel? Who decides what changes in the past are permissible or what glimpses of the future are allowed? These questions hint at the potential for power imbalances and misuse, adding another layer of complexity to the issue. Yet despite these challenges, the pursuit of quantum teleportation and time travel persists. It's a testament to our innate human curiosity and our relentless desire to push the boundaries of what's possible. So while we may not be packing our bags for a trip to the Jurassic era or the 22nd century anytime soon, the groundwork is being laid. And who knows, maybe one day we'll look back at this moment, not from memory, but from a quantum portal, marveling at how far we've come. Time travel might still be in the realm of science fiction, but with quantum teleportation, we're inching closer to making it a scientific fact. So, we've journeyed through the strange world of quantum teleportation. But what are the key takeaways? In the course of this exploration, we've uncovered the fundamentals of quantum teleportation. We've seen how this seemingly sci-fi concept is rooted in the peculiarities of quantum mechanics a world where particles can be entangled, sharing a deep connection that transcends the confines of space and time. We've delved into the mechanics of quantum teleportation, from the entanglement of particles to the transfer of quantum information. It's a process that doesn't move matter, but transmits the information about a quantum state from one place to another. We've also pondered on the implications of this technology. Quantum teleportation could revolutionize the way we communicate leading to quantum networks that are far more secure and efficient than anything we have today. It could also provide the basis for quantum computing, a new frontier that promises to outstrip even the most powerful of our current supercomputers. But it's not all smooth sailing. We've also touched on the challenges that stand in the way of this technology. Quantum teleportation requires precise control and measurement, and even a slight disturbance can cause the quantum state to collapse. There's also the question of scalability. Can we teleport information over long distances and between many particles? As for the future, it's as uncertain as the quantum world itself. 
There's still so much we don't know, and each discovery only seems to raise more questions. But that's what makes it exciting. As we push the boundaries of our understanding, we're not just learning about the quantum world. We're redefining what's possible. The world of quantum teleportation is as fascinating as it is complex, and who knows what the future holds? Only time will tell.